Everybody, it's Tyler here at the Midwest Regional, checking in team number 48, Team Elite, coming in out of Ohio. Elite has been building great robots every single year, and you got to look at the one this year. Uh, I think this might be one of my favorites that they had for a long time here. An awesome uh, gripper as they go into, and a really nice arm as well, too. Talking about some of the kinematics in the robot, all this and more coming up here on Behind the Bumpers. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. If your team is using SOLIDWORKS, make sure you log into the 3D Experience platform to gain access to tutorials, collaborate with other users, and download the charge up field and kit up parts. Go to SOLIDWORKS.com first and click on Log into 3D Experience platform to gain access. FRC competition season is here. Submit your favorite moments to FRC Clips of the Week by each Sunday at discord.gg slash first updates now. Also, the FRC Top 25 poll is open Sunday, 5 p.m. Eastern to Monday, 5 p.m. Eastern, where you can vote for your top 25 teams of the week at firstupdatesnow.com slash FRC Top 25. Zosha, talk to me about the uh, arm. You guys have you have a monstrous arm on your robot here, so I'd love to hear yeah. more about how that's working out for you and kind of the design behind it as well. Yeah, so of course we have the arm. I think the main star of the show, though, is our custom-made gearbox. The custom-made gearbox um, has most of the mechanics located inside of it and it helps maintain a really low center of gravity, which helps us like navigate the robot easier. Looking at uh, from the arm itself, how did you come up with using, utilizing this type of design? We've seen some teams go elevator route, uh, yeah. but you're doing uh, this uh, kind of this almost two stage here. How did you come up with that? Um, yeah, we wanted something that would help us like navigate the field pretty easily, so we could um, uh, help like be faster, and so we could like grab things really easily. So looking at the herringbone gears, so you all had this on your turret last year. Um, what advice do you have for teams that are looking at doing the herringbone, and how has it been working out for you or evolved over from last year? It has been working out really, really well. Um, they are very, very accurate. They don't shed. We we keep them. They they keep they keep their place. So things stay really locked in with it, right? Not a not a lot of compliance or uh, give on it. Yeah, yeah, they, they stay locked in very well. Uh, Ren, there's a lot that goes into it from a programming side. Uh, love to hear more about your kinematics. Uh, and I also see you have some LEDs for some driver feedback, too. Talk to me more about that. Yeah, so the way our kinematics work is we use reverse kinematics. So instead of having to have set angles for both points of the arm, we find out the X and Y coordinate of where our um, intake is going to be. And then from there, it automatically calculates the angles using a lot of geometry through that in our code. And then when it comes to our lights, we have them switch between purple for a cone and uh, yellow, no, purple for a cube and yellow for a cone. And this allows us to communicate with our human player in a lot easier way. So that way they know what they need to grab and we don't, they don't have to waste time running back and forth. Can we see your arm move a little bit and maybe talking about uh, the kinematics of it or just the stages in general? So what we do for the math is, so we take the X and Y point and then from there, we have to use um, the law of sine and the law of cosines to find this angle. And then from there, we use um, Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, to find this. And the main component to it is the fact that these two um, arms, since they're a fixed length, you can find any angle you want. So it gives us a lot greater of a precision. This also gives us the ability to flip cones because we can just move it down and then flip it as opposed to only being able to pick up cones that are straight up and down. Well, 48, thank you so much for talking to us more about your robot. Wish you best of luck here at the Midwest Regional. And of course, in uh, the rest of your events, you're playing three regionals this year, so we can't wait to see how you all do. Thanks a lot for showing us your robot and good luck. Thank you. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. If your team is using SOLIDWORKS, make sure you log into the 3D Experience platform to gain access to tutorials, collaborate with other users, and download the charge up field and kit up parts. Go to SOLIDWORKS.com first and click on Log into 3D Experience platform to gain access. The Charge Up competition season is here. We have a ton of live Twitch and YouTube content coming to you. All of our uploads and archives, including shows, behind the bumpers, finalysis, and more, are available at youtube.com slash first updates now. Check out all of our live shows on Mondays and Tuesdays at twitch.tv slash first updates now. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos.
Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now and check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter and First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.